Hey guys, it's Ben. Acme Mowing? Acme Mowing and Lawn Care, acmemowing.com. How's it going? Happy Saturday to you. I hope your week went well. Uh, we're working today because we got a couple days of rain last week. Not every day, just enough to disrupt the day that it rained and the day after it rained because the ground was so saturated. Uh, it needs to dry out. Really, it really does need to dry out. Uh, I do have uh, all my properties are getting, they'll be all caught up uh, today, but uh, we've been working since Wednesday to get them caught up. Uh, actually, we've been working since Thursday to get them caught up. But before we get started today, and since it's only me, I wanted to talk about the Fridge of Fame. I checked the, the mail today and uh, we didn't have anything for the Fridge of Fame, which is okay. I guess we're reaching saturation point. Uh, I never dreamed that we would have 1,400 uh, 1,400 subscribers to this channel. It's just insane to me. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, but I think that we're reaching the top of our, of our thing. Uh, we're just a small little lawn care vlog, uh, and you know, nowhere near what some of the other companies do as far as revenue per year and, and the amount of properties that they do. We're just kind of a, I would consider us a mom and pops organization. Uh, but we do make a pretty good living at it, uh, so it's not too shabby. But I wanted to talk about the Fridge Fame. If you still haven't, if you're watching and you still haven't sent your card, please do so. Send me a card or a sticker or your EDDM or something for advertising, and I'll put it up on the Fridge Fame. Uh, and you'll be entered then automatically to be entered into the Lowe's gift card giveaway that we're doing on the 4th of July. Uh, I'm giving away a $100 Lowe's gift card that day, and we're going to pull the name out of a hat. We're going to write all these names down, put it in a hat, and KH is going to draw it out of a hat. Or a special guest, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But please send me your card to be eligible to win. Uh, and there's going to be more giveaways as we go. Uh, and it's going to depend largely on the Fridge of Fame. So not only will you be entered uh, if you send me your card in time before the 4th, for the $100 Lowe's gift card, but you'll be then pre-entered into any other giveaways that we do that involve the Fridge of Fame. So it's worth it, guys. Anyway, I'm on my own today. So what are we gonna talk about? Well, uh, let's talk about it while I'm doing, I call it my pre-flight checklist. I always like to make sure everything, I know how I left it, but I always like to make sure that everything's copacetic. So I check my hitch, I check my connections, my electrical, my chains, make sure my jack's up. Uh, because last year we drove it off, the jack was down and we bent it. I had to have that fixed, that was on the old trailer, you may remember. Uh, I make sure that I have gas, which I don't, I'm glad I checked because I need to get some, I need to get a little bit of gas on my way out today. I make sure that I have the mowers loaded up that I need today. So I've already checked the Vantage out, it's full on gas, everything looks good, oil levels are good, blades are nice, the deck is clean, everything's ready to go with that. Uh, my trimmers are all full of gas, Backpack blower is full of gas. All four tires on the trailer have air in them and the truck looks awful good too. So we have everything that we need except for gas. Let's go get it done guys.
So guys, both of those lawns that you just watched me mow are $90 lawns. Uh, and I get asked this a lot. How much do you charge? Uh, how much do you charge, Ben? Well, both of those are $90. And I know that's not, not what the question is. They're really wanting to know how much do I charge per lawn, not how much do I charge for that particular lawn. They wanna know how I come up with my pricing. I understand why people ask that because that's the question that I ask mostly my first year. Well, before we got started our first year, I wanted to know how much people charged uh, to mow these properties. And the answer is there's no answer. There's no right answer anyway, I should say. There's no right answer when it comes to that. There's plenty of answers, but there's no exactly. In a quarter mile, your destination will be on the left. There's no real concrete answer to that answer to that question. I know some guys, uh, they calculate the square footage that they have to mow. Uh, we used to do this. We used to, we used to calculate the square footage that we'd have to mow, and then we'd measure it out. Uh, on um, like a satellite overlay, how much edging and trimming we think we'd have to do per foot. And we'd calculate it, it was a mathematical calculation, but that doesn't account for everything. Uh, and the better you get at it, the less and less you have to do that kind of stuff. For instance, when I look at a lawn now, I can pretty much tell you how much I need to charge on that. So guys, we're back at one of my weeklies. This is the lake house. I always show you this one because this is the one I really like it. Uh, this guy takes great pride uh, in his grass and he's got a weed treatment program going. Although we do have some water grasses coming up, some uh, broad, broad uh, bladed grasses shooting through and he's going to have to have that addressed. But here we are at the lake house. I call it the lake house, it's really a pond. But what we do is we walk through because these geese they don't like me very much and they got their little ones with them and they get very very protected those little fellas so i like to walk through just to let them know hey the big mean guy with the mowers here you might want to be a mosey and down to the pond so that's what they do today uh they're not hanging out at their normal spot down there by the cedars which makes it easier for me uh, but this is still pretty soft uh, i just wanted to see what it was like underfoot and it is still pretty soft so we'll have to be very careful uh, as we mow this one. But I'm not gonna show you me mowing this one. I'm gonna mow it and then we're gonna show it uh, because I wanna document this one throughout the years. Uh, well, throughout the years, throughout the, uh, throughout the weeks this year, just to see how far it's come. Uh, it's a lot better than last year, like a billion times better. And it's not just me guys, but it is partially me. So I, I do take pride in this lawn. We got the lake house done. I'm gonna show it to you real quick. Uh, and that's about as close as stripes as we get here in Oklahoma. That's about it. But it's coming along nicely. It's coming along nicely. I know you're curious about that thing that I use to uh, blow my mowers off. I found that uh, using water is effective, but it's messy. Uh, this air thing, I got this idea from my dealer. Um, I bought this air wand for like 16 bucks and some change on Amazon. And I just hooked it up to my uh, compressor that I bought at Lowe's. And man, I'm telling you, it makes the job easy and quick and uh, not dirty at all. It just blows off that dead grass and gets cleans out your mower real good. Uh, now, every other time, you know, on the weekends then, I'll use the uh, RB200 here to give them a good washing and everything, pressure washing. But in between times, man, there's nothing faster and nothing more effective than that air compressor with that air wand. It's awesome. I highly recommend it. If you don't have one, you should have one. That's all I'm saying. It'll change your life a little bit. Little, little change. It's not going to be like a, you know, 
big change, but it'll change your life. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just rambling. Yep, that's right guys, forgot you again. Cage calls it old timer's disease. I think I'm losing my mind, I don't know. Anyway, let's go edit this video. What? What are you doing? Cage, what the hell is he do she doing in there? She's swimming. You know I saved about five frogs in, out of the pool this morning. Interesting. Yeah. Make a hole, make it wide. Hey, let's go do the fridge fame. Okay. Let's do it. Ah. <laughs> Hi all. All dogs must hang. Huh. To exclude me, of course. KH has accused me of being a dog once or twice in our past. Of course, it was unfounded and not true, but that's the way it goes. Whatever. Hey, KH. Hi, baby. How's it going? Good. We caught up this week. Yeah. So we're in a pretty good mood. It is Saturday today, and I just finished my last lawn this morning. And I heard a rumor that you're taking me out on a dinner date tonight? possible or we might have some people over to play a game or something cool hmm you may notice that kh doesn't have any kind of an envelope for the fridge of fame nope that's because we didn't get any kind of envelope for the fridge of fame uh at least up until yesterday afternoon uh, i didn't check it today mm -hmm. because i was too busy trying to get everything caught up yeah and then i rushed home because my daughter's coming to eat lunch with us today so that's going to be awesome i went to the oak OKCOSU okay, Farmer's Market. KH went to the Farmer's Market. Yep. Okay, yeah, I so. I picked up some hot tamales for our brunch. Awesome. <laughs> what are you going to talk about since there's nothing? We're going to talk. We're, we're going to talk about some stuff that's been going on in the lawn care community. Oh, okay. We're gonna then talk, I'll hush. We're going we're gonna to talk about some stuff. <laughs> Just tell me. Uh, hush. Hush. <laughs> Uh, so, you know, not everything's positive, guys. There are some issues within our lawn care community that could be best described as not being positive. Mm -hmm. uh, but you only get sucked into that if you allow yourself to get sucked into that. And I think that we are just not going to allow ourselves to get sucked into that. Uh, I know that that's the way that the news channels do it, and that's the way that all these TV channels do it the a and e channel it's all about the drama well i think that it's not all about the drama sometimes i just like seeing stuff that's non-drama in fact those are the those are the channels that i watch the non-drama channels i do enjoy them i like watching people get the work done we're just choosing not to be involved in the drama yep. right yes so there are a couple things we, uh kh and i talked to uh our buddy up in new jersey yeah sometimes 
Dirty Jersey. Some, shout out to Dirty Jersey. Shout out to Dirty Jersey. <laughs> Sometimes uh, you need to get somebody else's perspective on something because you think you might be going crazy on your own. It was nice talking to you, uh, Mike, and thank you for putting it back into perspective for us. Sometimes we get lost in our own BS, and I think that that's what was happening there for a minute, and you saved us. What do you think? I think it was amazing talking to him, and I cannot wait to meet him in October. It's going to be great, uh, and I did call Mike again this morning to thank him for that phone conversation yeah. tell him to be looking out for something today, cool. Karen. And, and that thing that I wanted him to look out for were a couple of my favorite Greek sayings. This is a little bit before his parents' time and maybe a little bit before his parents' 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 time. Uh, both of these sayings are by Socrates, and you tell me what you think of them. Okay. The first of them, uh, the first one that I really enjoy is, the secret of change is to focus all of your energy, not on fighting the old, but on building the new. That's oh, by Socrates. That is amazing. And I think that that's, even though that thing is ancient, ancient old, I think it's timely, yes, uh, it especially is. in our situations lately here in the lawn care community. So what do you think of that one? I love it. I love it. So if you love that one, what do you think of this one? Okay. And this is the one that I think is even more important mm -hmm. than that other one. Okay. Those, are the, those that are the hardest to love need it the most. And that wow. was also by Socrates. That's and I think a good one. That's a good one. And I think it's timely for what we got going on right now. Because there are some hard to love people out there in our community, <laughs> right? Yes, we run across people like that all the time. Not all the time, but, but occasionally. A Most, lot. I would say the majority of the people that we run across are easy to love. Uh, there are a few out there that are hard to love. They make it hard to love them yes. uh, by their actions and by the way they treat others. Uh, but those are the people, I think, and Socrates is exactly right, they need it the most. So let's show them some love, even though it's the hard thing to do. Let's just love them anyway. Yes. And, you know, try to understand where they're coming from with all their negativity. But we're not here to talk about There's that. There's one other thing. Treat people the way you want to be treated. Yeah, that's a mom thing. Yes. Yeah, and that also goes back to the biblical times, I think. Yes. So kind of like, I, like the- I like those. It's a golden rule, right? The golden rule. Yes. That's the best thing to do. Yes. Treat others how you want to be treated, but we're not here to be quote unquote quoting. <laughs> I did, those are two of my favorite Greek uh, quotes, and they're both by Socrates. I really Socrates like that guy. Socrates was Greek? He was Greek. Oh, oh yes, okay. he was. I didn't know that. Most of our wise men were Greek. Wow. I think some guy in New Jersey is going to agree with me on yes, that comment. Yes, and, and I've, I've, I've heard through the grapevine that Greeks are the best negotiators. Well. <laughs> so you must have some Greek in you as well. Well, <laughs> I haven't. I need to get a, my, a DNA test to find out. <laughs> <laughs> exactly what I got going on here. Okay. We wanted to say, Jer Dirty Jersey, thanks again for taking our call and getting us refocused on what's important. That was an amazing phone call last night. It was an awesome phone call mm -hmm. and getting us off the negative. We really appreciate you and we love you up there in Jersey. Yes, we do. And we can't wait to meet you and take you to dinner. Anyway, and what's not negotiable is we're paying for it. Anyway. Yes. Love each other. Make lots of money. And peace. Peace, guys. We love you guys too. Love Take you. care. Bye. Bye, y'all.